Hello guys, Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Rostan for the Sega Master System, based on the arcade classic known as Rostan Saga. Yeah, made by Taito, and you know they made some pretty good arcade games. Sega's been known for, you know, making a lot of ports to arcade classics, such as Alter Beast, Sonic the Hedgehog, yep, Sonic the Hedgehog was an arcade game. Ooh, Destiny, a little bit of story. This is the tale of a barbarian who went against the tides of fate, who fought destiny with cold steel and won. And that's just the demo, so let's not watch that. Very interesting game though. And very simple. And it's one of those rare games back in the 80s or 90s that actually had gore. This was way before the ESRB came into full effect. And even the instruction manual had some controversy as well. If you actually had the Sega Master System, and not many people did, unless you were either in Europe or Brazil where it was popular at the time, and if you actually had this game and read the instruction manual, you would notice that some of the enemies that are actually shown in the manual have female nudity. Like the Gorgons, the Harpies, and Medusas actually had like naked women. You can actually see breasts and pubic vaginas and like it was crazy that that content was actually on a mag on an instruction manual for a game. And then this was before the ESRB and by the time the ESRB came to be these types of instruction manuals would never be published. So this was a rare find. Okay, I know there's spikes here. Uh-oh. Damn chimeras, or gorgons, or whatever. I think they're chimeras. Because gorgons are basically medusa-like creatures. And watch this! Rostin, the uh, Barbarian, actually can wall jump like Super Metroid. Take a bit of damage and I uh, lost my main sword. Time for the first boss, which is a Centaur. Basically, this boss is very easy. All you need is the Downward Slash, similar to Zelda 2. Watch this. Three hits. Dead. Round clear. Let's go to the next round. I played a little bit of this game, and I actually found it very interesting. Do not play the Commodore 64 version of this, because there's a bug in that game that prevents you from beating the game at all. Like, a jumping bug. And we know that, oh, that bugs that won't allow you to win suck. Oh, I missed that item. But at least I got an axe out of it. Sadly for a Barbarian, anytime he takes a bit of damage, he flinches. Oh, come on, you got muscles. Can you at least take it? Welcome to Sega's version of Surprise Fish! Surprise Fish! This so makes me feel like Tarzan right about now. Very simple platformer. I actually like it. Die, fish. You don't belong in this world. You just belong in dinner. And I do not have allergies to seafood. So good luck. Eh, some eyes are very hard to get. You don't really need every single one of them. Okay, my protector is a cloak. Believe it or not, you actually get armor from killing enemies. As item drops. No, no. I hate water. Rostan hates water! Oh, even better protection. I like this attack. Now, now I'm just down to the sword. My default weapon. Now. Better get some energy from killing enemies. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think you have infinite continues in this, so like if I die, I mean it doesn't matter, I'll just get start back to the castle again. I have to do a Samus wall jump. Oh great. This part doesn't remind me of Metal Man from Mega Man 2 at all. There we go. Now it's boss time. This boss has a very simple pattern too. He basically goes in a U-shaped motion. No matter what. What? What just what just killed me? I don't even think I took a hit there. Okay, let's just do this again. Basically, I'm just gonna stick around right here. Okay, I think touching the wing. That's what hurt me. Okay, I'm just gonna stick around right here. You think he learned his lesson? Just go to the left again. But no, he doesn't do it. Even the projectiles go to the right. I'm gonna go left, and then I'm gonna go right. No matter what. He's very dedicated to his pattern, I must say. And he's looking at me, too! Like, he's looking directly at me! Like, wow! Talk about pathetic! Yeah! Let's go to the next round! Yeah, I chose to play this version rather than the arcade version because I got main, but I can barely get it to work and uses a lot of resources. Personally, I'm not into main. I might give it a shot someday, but not now. I play enough consoles as it is. Oh, good energy. Uh oh. So I must be taking a very big shit. Look at all this stuff. There we go. Like the downward stab attack is really effective. Especially if you're gonna be jumping right near enemies. Aw, oh, look at the pastel water. Isn't that epic or what? Oh, that was my fault. Okay, time for another Tarzan moment. Oh, the energy sword. Oh, oh my gosh, I still got it. Um, am I supposed to go down? I think so. Well, at least I got the weapon. The weapon of epic sexy times. Let's see if stand a chance of this. Now we're in the castle. Very basic level pattern they got. Almost like Super Mario Brothers. Oops. Oops. Okay. Good, I didn't lose the magic sword. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now I did. Oh, I hate this part. You had to get the pattern just right. Okay, I got it. I haven't seen the third boss yet. I think it's around here that I stopped playing. You know, just to get a little bit of practice. Hey, look at it this way. Barbarians are not designed for jumping. They're just designed for kicking. Oh, he ducked and attacked. That's bullshit. Okay, that's enough progress for now, but stay tuned for the next part when I do some more of this. See ya, everyone.